Okay, guys, it's your favorite OAP A1R Jerry, and I want to show you how to be a beautiful a sound on air personality. I'll be using my studio sound. Follow me and let's go. Okay, so here is what the studio looks like. Now, let's do the first thing. The first thing is the foam. Now, you wonder why the studio is always padded. The studio is always padded because of the acoustic sound. Now, when I speak, the studio is supposed to be, the studio world is supposed to bounce back my voice so that it gives you this thickness. That's why you, you know, my voice sounds different when you hear me already because it has some bass. This is what's responsible for that okay so let's go i'm sure it's beautiful right look at the microphones okay so i'll turn it down a bit when an on-air personality or anybody who is maybe a dca duty continuity announcer gets into the live studio okay there are few things that they do one of those things is you pick in you pick the program schedule now the program schedule is a minute or per hour sequencing of the programs for the day so you have for Monday Tuesday and depends on your shift which means you can have, be on the morning shift you can also be on the afternoon shift maybe after 1 down to about 7 and then the evening shift whatever shift you know the time then you check the problems right after you check the programs on your shift you check the advert schedules and let me say the advert schedules are what pays the bills okay so if you miss an advert that's serious trouble for you which means they might deduct your money and you as an oap you don't want your salary slashed you want it increased so you adhere strictly to the advert schedule and third is the logbook the logbook must be filled by a disciplined on a personality. Even sometimes you might be tired, but discipline is very important. All right. So in the logbook, you fill in the time, the sequence, basically what happens in on that shift. You know the people that come to the studio, write their names, the programs, the deed, how it went. You put your remarks. Basically, that's what you do. But the guide is the program schedule. We have three microphones, by the way. And it's beautiful. The studio looks beautiful, right? Now, look at the cost source. Now, we might not be able to do so much on this video on how to handle the cost source, but I will definitely after now. We have two monitors. This monitor is the Jazz La Half. Has the Jazz La Half. For some other stations, like my former radio station, we used to use Virtual DJ as the half. But the Jazzler is quite exquisite and very proficient because it records every minute activity in the studio. The time you played the advert, so if somebody comes and says you didn't play my advert, all we need to do is just to print it out from the Jazzler record and show the person that what we did. Okay, so this is the Jazzler. This is the backup system that's linked to the internet, the www worldwide web. We can play any video, we can play songs, live download, stream live. Yes, a live studio, a 21st century 2019 radio live studio must have constant internet connection. It's very, very important. All right, feedback speakers are available too, but the next video will be on how to use this cursor. The laptops, are, uh, the, the keyboards are here too. The mobile phones for picking calls. We'll get to these small details after this video. If you want to know more about being a proficient, skilled, and excellent on-air personality, drop a comment on this video. Like, share, and comment more if you want more. My name is 